Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and look who it is! Yeah, it's good, your little kitty girl! It's Monet Exchange! You guys, I have been sitting on the secret for so long, and now that the episode is out, I was on RuPaul's Drag Race! Yes, girl! It was the best experience of my life. I love you so much. Oh my goodness! And so now, we're gonna do a little makeover, just for y'all, to give you the real tea of what happened on the show. So, Monet. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about the first time you ever did drag? The first time I ever did drag, my first drag name was Ferocia Katora. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so silly. Ferocia, Ferocia Katora. It is so stupid. I don't, I don't know why I thought that that was a good drag name. How do you feel about Paulina Blart? Absolutely not. <laughs> Whose name is that? Paulina Blart is serving lunch meat at the cafeteria, honey. And that's all she's serving. She's she glamour. Serving she's <laughs> no. So you had Ferocia Couture. What was Ferocia Couture like? Oh, she was a mess, girl. Uh -huh. She was giving you like a little high-low skirt from Torrid. <laughs> she was that kind of queen. But you know what? That's where we all start. We all just kind of stumble in and kind of figure out like what's popping with our drag. Like how do we want to really express ourselves? Mm -hmm. And then over the years, you grow and you find who your character is. You know what I mean? Right. When were you able to turn what you were doing for fun into something that seems like more than just like a little hobby? So now I've been doing drag for six years. The first three years, the first half of my drag life was more for fun and doing it. And then in 2015, I left my full-time job at the Yale Club of New York City where I had full benefits, where I was unionized. Like, it was like fair. Like, That's making, a commitment. I was making money and I was like, you know what, I wanted to drag. It's nice to have the security of a nine to five mm -hmm. and the security that or all of that brings you, but like if you're unsatisfied or unfulfilled by it mm -hmm. and you have this other thing on the side that is like tempting to try to do full time, mm -hmm. I completely relate to that. That was YouTube for me. You can't touch a glue. I'm not touching it. Oh. I'm just giving. <laughs> <laughs> I love how these are always like the feel, feeling yourself hands, like the it's fashion headache. A little bit. Yeah, a fashion <laughs> headache. <laughs> For people at home who don't know what drag is, what is drag in one sentence to you? Liberty and freedom. The freedom to walk out of your apartment in full regalia and some woman on the walk be like, yes girl, you're gonna work. And then to me, like that encompasses drag for me. Right. That is the power that mm -hmm. drag gives me. Who is drag for? Drag is for everyone. Sometimes there is a misconception that drag is only for queer people and drag is only for people who, have, who are in the queer space. Mm -hmm. But I mean, sometimes you put a straight man in drag and you can see- It comes see, out. We like, saw like, like, um, uh, Chester. 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 Yes. Yeah, I mean, you, perfect example. You put yeah. a straight man in drag and you see a part of their personality and a part of their being that sometimes they didn't even know that was there. But that's the same experience you had then. Oh, absolutely. That's the same experience I had. I feel like anybody that gets to play, like RuPaul always says, like gets to use all the crayons in the crayon box. Yeah. Before that, you just get to use, you know, the 12, and then you get like, like 64. Like, like, girl, they're, girl, we're, bitch Drag has 96 colors. Uh, 128, baby. Uh, is, is there a 28 <laughs> box? Yes! I can never afford those, bro. I'll send one. Good. <laughs> What was your friends and family's reaction when you started doing drag? I'm born in Brooklyn, New York, mm. but I lived in the on the island of St. Lucia for a very Ooh, for 10 years. It must be nice. Yeah, oh, it was, girl, it was like living in paradise, you know what I mean? My family down there, they don't really know about the whole drag thing. What well, bitch they do now? I don't girl, now I'm not a and I'm like, oh. Uh. But my family up here, like my aunts and my grandmother and stuff, they've seen me in pictures, but they've never seen me like doing a show, like performing on stage. Mm. So if you were watching this and you haven't seen the episode, this is going to be spoiler filled, but... Let's talk about the episode. Yes, girl, let's, let's we need talk, to talk about it. Every season they do a makeover episode, and for this season, they had me and five other digital people, like yeah. YouTubers and other types of people, come on and get their zhuzh on. And I have to say, I was the most nervous. Were you? Yes, because you like- You seem so comfortable though. I cannot tell the bitch was nervous. You seem really? like you were- Drag to me is something that I've always loved and then drag race separately. Like I have been such a fan and so it just felt so like, I don't know. It's like this thing that I've always absolutely adored unapologetically and then mm -hmm. to be a part of it, it was 
daunting and scary and intimidating. What was your biggest fear going into having to do this makeover? My biggest fear was that I wouldn't that I wouldn't get us to look alike. That mm. was obviously a fear. I think we looked really alike. I think we did too. And then when I was hearing critique that close. she was like, when Michelle was like, oh, I don't see the resemblance, I wanted to be like, well, baby, first of all, what you're looking at is so surface. That's why you don't see it. Yeah. But we did all we could do. What was your biggest fear going into it? When we had our outfits, I was really nervous for the, the, the pull reveal. away skirt, the reveal. I was also terrified to walk. Oh my god. You were so good at it though. I loved our um our money moment. I, I forgot money. about that. Yeah. That was like, yes. no, I can't wait to, to see what fans do with that. It was very cool. Oh, you're, you're gonna get so much fan art. If y'all make fan art of the two of us, I will scream. Please, if you post it anywhere like on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, something, put the hashtag exchange family portrait. <laughs> make That's it happen. A long hashtag. Get it trending. <laughs> Baby, I'm right here. What are you looking at? I'm looking at my beautiful <laughs> face. If somebody's watching this and they're like, oh, I want to try drag for the first time, what would you tell them? I would tell them to go to a local bar and just sit. And when you when you see that one queen struggling to get up the stairs in her gown, you run and you help her up those stairs. I promise you she'll never forget that. And then next week, <laughs> come back and be like, hey girl. And she'll be like, oh. You were the one last week, she's like, you know, come backstage, come get a drink. Right. And then that will start the conversation mm -hmm. and you can get yourself involved. All right, y'all ready to see for short change? Y'all ready for short change? Come on in, girl, come on in here. Hello. Oh, oh, we're giving you a cotton Am candy. I Pink and blue confection. Thank you. You look beautiful, baby. I honestly look at your, look at your claws. I feel so natural right now. Yes, you look I gorgeous. feel like this is a sensible look. Funeral ready, wedding ready, first <laughs> date ready. Baby shower girl. Sure also, change. we're wearing the colors of the trans flag. I didn't even notice that. We are ready for this. Yes. Thank you for this makeover. Oh my god, you love it. I feel so stunning. Truly, I, drag is so fun to me because you can become anything. Literally anything you want to, girl. I love it. Now you're like a '60s mod house. Wife. Oh, little has, old me. She has a bicycle on the porch and a Bentley in the garage, honey. And that's just for fun. <laughs> so, oh, my little daughter, short chain. I love you. you so much. Girl. I love you. Wait, where can people find you on the internet? Oh, they can find me on Instagram, mm. Monet, the letter X, the word change, on Twitter. I'll put it in the description. Yes, on Facebook, mm. on Angie's mm. List. So you want a drag queen <laughs> to clean your apartment? I'm your girl. Okay. Hey. Times are tough. Monet, I want to say thank you. Not just for this makeover, but also for letting me be your partner on the um, Drag Race itself. It was truly a dream come true. Like, I am such a super fan of the show, and to be able to do it with you, I wouldn't have picked anybody else. If you like this video, what can they do? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yes, bitch! You knew! Thank you. Yeah, there's subscribe. a ton of right there. There so. you have it. <laughs> um, thanks, y'all, for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye! Bye.